it okay Ramon? okay 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 uh we're her stories and we are collecting uh stories from east asia so here's the here's today's overview so firstly i want to explain why we want to do her story and then we will introduce what have we done and what will we do next and the last last one we uh i will try to explain who we are looking for so firstly, why we want to do her story. So um, F at the FTO, we find people in East Asia are facing similar problems. So like, um, we'll focus on the um, women's, women's right issue. Like in Taiwan, we know that a writer who calls Lin Yihan, she write a book about her experience of sexual harassment. And in Korea, we know the Eun's Room case. And in Hong Kong, we, we found that, um, there's a, um, some place like, a uh, police officer, they do, they also do some sexual harassment to the protest, pro protesters. And in Japan, there also a, a protest called Cool 2. So, uh, when we talking, when we talking about these issues, we will, and um, people will refuse to listen to some words like fem, fem feminisms, LGBTs, or discrimination. They don't want to know about these issues. But if we like, we being a storytellers and we tell them the stories in these countries, and we are all in East Asia, they might find that oh, we have some similarities, and we can uh, learn from others' cases. So how have we done? We collect uh, a lot of gender equality related stories from Taiwan, Japan, Korea, and Hong Kong. And for example, we will uh, put them into a, a huge spreadsheet and write down the original uh, articles and translate them into uh, English version. So uh, until today, we have already updated uh, 81 articles on this spreadsheet. And secondly, we will translate them into different languages. So, for example, this is the cases about Peng Wan Ru. And we write down the articles in Chinese and then translate them into English. And after that, our partner in Japan and in Korea, they will translate them from English to Japanese or Korean. And lastly, we will uh, render them on the website. So people can click on the icon you can see on the left side, and um, they will show the content on the right side. So what will we do next? We found that um, at, at the beginning, we're just making some database to uh, for people they might can browse on the website. But after some new partner get into our community, we start we try to do more things. So we are considering to make a data journalism website, for example, like the follow the money. This is a website which collect the um, political donation in America. And so the readers can browse on this website and also like use a filter to, to choose what data they want. And also they can find some insight on this website because they might um, write some report about some special issues. And second, perhaps in the future, we can cooperate with other media or enterprise like Womany and also maybe some um, enterprise they want to um, want to do some hu uh, woman right community. So m maybe we can share our stories to them and they can they can study from other countries cases and also they can share their local experience for, to us. OK. How? So lastly, wh who we are looking for? Uh, we are looking for people who have at least one, uh, two languages ability, uh, Chinese, Korean, Japanese, and English. And also we want we want to find some people who are interested in feminism or LGBTQ issues. And lastly, we want to find some people who have a ability to summarize articles. Um, Therefore, we can, we don't need to write all the articles by ourselves, but we can summarize articles from, um, from the current media or, uh, news report, news reporter. And um, that's all. Thank you.